Today we're going to take a look at Inbox Guru, the Infor Cloud Suite CRM native marketing platform. And I am going to show you how to quickly create an email template and how you can copy that template to not have to redo all your links and logos and uh, settings that you're going to want in all your emails. So as you can see, we've gotten here by going into our Infor CRM to the Inbox Guru entity and clicking on email templates. Here you'll see your list of templates you've created. You'll go to the right and there is an actions button. Go ahead and select new template. And I'm going to name it header footer option one. Maybe you have a few options of colors and things uh, for your marketing. So you might make a few different options. Okay, I'm going to leave it as marketing and drag and drop editor. And I'm going to hit create. And when this opens, you'll see that Inbox Guru gives you a standard setup to get you started so that you don't have to build out all your rows and content blocks. So it gives you at least something to start with. So just as a quick overview, as a reminder, when you scroll over throughout your template, You'll see it highlights different content boxes, different rows. Just as a reminder, this tool allows you to slide and move the rows around. Same thing when you go to a content block, you can use that tool to rearrange your content blocks. And when you click on the block, you'll see you get your editing options. First, you'll see you get a delete option. When you click on a text box, it brings up your text editing tools. And also, as you click throughout, you'll see on the right-hand side, that panel is changing. Those are all your options to edit background colors and column widths and padding to the cells. So as you can see, as you click, different options come up. So let's go ahead and make our standard header. We know that we want to have our logo. So let's take, here are your different row options. I'm going to take a single row and I'm going to drag it. You'll see here, it lets me know. I can put it there and I drop it. Now I need, as you can see here, this is an empty row because no content block has been added. I know I want an image for our logo, so I press and hold and I drag it over until I get to drag it here and release. Now. We can go to our image library. This will contain anything that you've added to your image library. As a reminder, you also have the search free photos. There's thousands of photos that Inbox Guru lets you download to your library to use over and over again. Let's find our logo. Let's go with the Inbox Guru logo and we'll insert. Again, when you click it, you'll see your options to edit that image pop up to the right. So now let's scroll down. We won't do anything to the middle of the email since we're just doing a header footer template. You'll see you'll have your social media links. When you click on those, your options will come up. This is where you'll put in your personalized company pages. Okay, you can reorder these. You can delete them if you don't use Google Plus, simply delete, and you can add more. You can even add a custom icon. Something I use at SimpleSoft is I do the custom icon and have it linked directly to our blog page. But as you can see, there's all the different others you can use. Okay, and then you go here to the bottom. This, it already preloads your unsubscribe because you cannot send an email from Inbox Guru without having an unsubscribe link in there. So it always automatically puts that in. But when you click within the box, your editor options come up, click merge tags. Here's where you can add your company name. You can add your company address. You can even add a message in here maybe that you always want in the footer of your emails. You can add your phone number, email links, everything. And I like to do this template so that you don't always have to go back 
and re-hyperlink all this stuff. So see here, I'll go ahead and I'll hyperlink our email. And as you can see here, it's going to give you the option. I'm going to select email, but you can see there's some other pretty cool options. And I'll cover those in another one. Okay, you can even set subject line and hit OK. We can change our color here, make everything white. Now this will merge after you send, and these are made in your settings over here under administration. Okay, then we're going to go up to the top and we're going to hit save. Then go actions. Now, here you can save a copy as, and if you save a copy here, you can simply rename this um, sale promo email, okay? And then when you go and return, that copy will be here, and then your header and footer and links are already done. Or you can come here to Actions, select Copy Template, click on your list, and these are all the templates you've created. Scroll down, and you can see your header footer option one. Select copy, and it'll open up and be called copy of header footer option one. Now you're ready to start your email, and all you have to do is edit the middle options. Just remember to go to properties, and you can rename this. Sales promo email. Change your subject line, hit update, and now your template is renamed and ready to be launched into a campaign, and you don't have to rebuild all of your header footer links and information.